The main sequence turnoff point is a line passing through the main sequence of an HR diagram that is the average highest mass and average age of stars in a cluster that are still remaining on this main sequence. Let's take a look at some main sequence turnoff points on an HR diagram. Here we have an HR diagram. On the vertical axis increasing upwards is luminosity. In this particular example, they have absolute magnitude increasing in the negative vertical axis. Along the horizontal axis, we have temperature increasing to the left. On this diagram, we have two clusters of stars. M67 is in yellow and NGC 188 is in red. We have a, a main sequence that runs from upper left to bottom right. And it's drawn as a line on the diagram, but it's actually really a bar. So we're going to draw it a little bit wider than the line. As we can see in this bar, we've got several blue and yellow colored objects for the clusters. Let's take a look at the yellow cluster, M67. As we can see, we've got many yellow stars on the main sequence, but then they start to bend off the main sequence. Stars that are on the main sequence are in hydrostatic equilibrium. They're stable stars. They're adult stars. They're not dying stars. Stars that are evolving off the main sequence are dying stars. Let's take a look at the NGC 188 cluster. Along the same HR diagram main sequence, we see several blue stars, and then we see them start to bend off or evolve off and start to die. So we draw lines on the HR diagram through the main sequence that represents the highest point that we see the stars, the average highest point. So I'm going to draw some lines here. The red line or pink line is where the blue cluster starts to turn off, known as the NGC 188 main sequence turnoff point. The orange line passing through the main sequence represents the main sequence turnoff point for M67 clusters of stars. Notice we don't see stars on the main sequence above and to the left of these two lines. These two lines would be the main sequence turnoff points for these two clusters. The main sequence turnoff point is a line passing through the main sequence. That is the average highest mass and average age of the stars in a cluster that are still remaining on the main sequence. If they're off the main sequence, they're dying objects. One thing we didn't mention is how do we know it's the average highest mass and average age? Well, all stars on the main sequence follow a pattern. Age increases to bottom left. So stars that are on the main sequence in the bottom right are older, whereas stars in the upper left are younger. Similarly, we have another trend, and that is mass. Objects on the main sequence that are at the upper left are more massive than the ones at the bottom right. So we know the age and mass of stars on the main sequence. Therefore, we know the average age and the average highest mass of the stars that remain on the main sequence, and that represents the main sequence turnoff points for these two clusters.